10 Best Things to Do in Slovenia 1. Visit Picture Perfect Lake Bled For several years now, Bled has been advocating green tourism and is the proud recipient of the gold label of the Green Scheme of Slovenian Tourism. As part of the 2019 Green Destinations International Non-Governmental Project, Bled was selected as the second best place in sustainable development in Europe, and since 2008 it is member of the Alpine Pearls Group, the objective of which is to promote sustainable mobility. A visit to Slovenia would not be complete without a visit to Lake Bled. This is one of Slovenia's most popular destinations. With its castle on the hill, a pretty island to visit, secluded swimming spots, and short hiking trails, Lake Bled is not to be missed. 2. Visit lovely Ljubljana. Slovenia's capital and largest city is one of Europe's greenest and most livable capitals, it was the European Commission's Green Capital of Europe in 2016. Car traffic is restricted in the center, leaving the leafy banks of the Emerald Green Ljubljana River, which flows through the city's heart, free for pedestrians and cyclists. In summer, cafes set up terrace seating along the river, it almost feels like a nightly street party. Ljubljana is Slovenia's capital city. It's colorful, it's lively, it's compact, and there are more dragons here than museums. This is the kind of city where it is just fun to explore without a long list of things to do. While you are here, play an escape game at the castle on the hill, stroll the colorful streets, and take your pick from an amazing number of highly rated restaurants. 3. Spend the day at Lake Bohin. Lake Bohin is located in a glacially formed lake basin and holds almost 100 million cubic meters of water. According to an old Bohin joke, only one bucket if the bucket is big enough. The lake basin, which descends steeply, is not indented and is almost without shallows. The lake warms up to 24 degrees Celsius at the surface in summer and often freezes in winter. Water levels rise by more than 3 m during heavy rainfall. Lake Bled may be Slovenia's most popular lake, but Lake Bohin comes in a very close second place. Go hiking, go paddle boarding, ride a cable car for one of the best views over Triglav National Park, and go swimming in the lake. 4. Explore the Soka River Valley. The river Soka, which has a distinct emerald green color, is considered to be one of the most beautiful rivers in Europe. Its water flows across waterfalls, small waterfalls, and cascades as well as through narrow rocky gorges, and along the way it has carved surprising canyons and pools. The river and its tributaries excite the lovers of natural beauty and seekers of adventurous water sports, such as wildwater kayaking, rafting, canyoning etc. A renowned fish lives in the river Soka, the Soka trout, which attracts fishermen from all over the world. The mountainous landscape above the river Soka was the scene of the largest mountain battle in history during World War I. 5. Visit Kranska Gora. Kranska Gora is a destination with countless options for spending an active getaway in the great outdoors. Enter the kingdom of the highest Slovenian peaks. This is where fairy tales are alive and well, leaving traces everywhere you go. Kranska Gora is a very small town that is located just north of Triglav National Park. This town makes a very nice home base if you plan to do any hiking in the Julian Alps. 6. Visit Postojna Cave. Postojna Cave is the only place where you can see the most precious brilliant in the form of a cave formation and also meet the baby dragons. Just like the world above the surface, Postojna Cave boasts towering mountains, murmuring rivers, and vast subterranean halls. It is a real challenge for explorers and the cradle of speleobiology. Did you know that Postojna Cave is the most captivating cave in the world and the largest show cave in Europe? That Postojna Cave is inhabited by over 150 animal species. The undisputed star among them is the Ulm also called Baby Dragon. That Postojna cave was the first underground cave in the world to have a railway. 7. Explore Vintgar Gorge. Vintgar Gorge is one of the most magical places to visit in Slovenia. For 1.6 kilometers, boardwalks crisscross their way along the Radovna River, 
creating an enchanting landscape that is very photogenic and fun to explore. It's gorgeous, it's easy to walk, it's easy to get to, and it's fun for the entire family. 8. Hike in Triglav National Park One of the best things to do in Slovenia is go hiking. And one of the best places in Slovenia to go hiking is Triglav National Park. Located in the Julian Alps, this rugged, rocky mountain range is an epic destination for hikers and rock climbers. Triglav National Park is located in the northwestern part of Slovenia where the Julian Alps are. The park spreads from Kranska Gora, along the Italian border, down to Talman on the south and reaches out almost to Bled Lake on the east for a total of 840 square kilometers. Triglav National Park adds up to 4% of the territory of Slovenia, no wonder there are no other national parks in Slovenia, there simply isn't enough space. Triglav National Park is home to some of the most amazing mountains in Slovenia and offers an array of walks, hikes and all sorts of tracks and trails for you to choose from, probably more than you could do in a lifetime. Here you'll be able to do short walks as well as multi-day hikes. The Triglav National Park trails will take you over pastures, through gorges, over rivers, through forests, to waterfalls and to summits, always boosting some breathtaking views. 9. Visit Piran, Slovenia's gem on the Adriatic Sea. Piran is a small, colorful coastal town that sits right on the Adriatic Sea. Stroll the city streets, take your pick from numerous seafood restaurants, and walk along the medieval walls for one of the best views of the city. Piran is the most beautiful town on the Slovenian coast. The old port town with remnants of a medieval wall is protected as a cultural and historical monument. Narrow streets with closely constructed houses descending from the hill and its church to the central square on the coast only emphasize its Mediterranean character. This worldly coastal town, which developed under the influence of Venice, is considered to be one of the most authentic and most photogenic towns on the Adriatic coast. In addition to architecture, the Maritime Museum, an aquarium and other attractions, visitors flock to this town to enjoy events, the culinary offerings, and nearby special natural features. 10. Go Wine Tasting in Maribor Maribor is a small city located in eastern Slovenia. This is the second largest city in Slovenia. Take in the view from Pyramid Hill, see the oldest vine in the world, and stroll along the colorful streets and squares. It feels a lot quieter here than Ljubljana and Lake Bled, so if you are looking to escape the summer crowds in Slovenia, and you like wine, this is a nice place to visit. In the heart of the old city center on Lent, the oldest vine in the world still grows in front of the old vine house. The confirmed age of this Zamatovka or Madrakevsina vine is over 400 years, which won it a place in the Guinness Book of Records as the oldest noble vine in the world still bearing grapes. The old vine is a symbol of the rich wine culture of Maribor, Styria, and all of Slovenia. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel.